Hey, this is Michael from Coin Collecting and Detecting. Today I'm going to be going through some $2 coins. Got some bags of $2 coins here today. So let's go through these ones and see what we can find. All right, got some of those red bags there, but it's also the standard issue bags that the bank bags we've got here. So let's go through these ones. See if we can find anything special. Zoom in. And uh, let's check these out. 2016. Oh, 993 straight away. Here we go. It's a low mintage coin. 4.9 million minted. So $3.90 to $18 are some recent selling prices on that particular coin. So hmm, nice start. I like it. Kobe, g'day. How are you going? All right. I hope everyone's been having a good day. Don't know where that coin's been. It's pretty rough. Let's zoom in a little bit more. 13. Let's get some more here. 2008. Oh, 2018. So I'm looking for low mintage dates, but I'm also looking for the colored coins as well. Um, they sort of stand out, but there's low mintage years, meaning they didn't make many in particular years. And because they're in shorter supply and that they didn't make as many, that um, the prices can be a little bit higher for them. Uh, it's just that supply and demand. So uh, for the coin collectors who are interested in coins, they generally like to have a coin from each year and they try to have one in the best condition they can have for each year as well. So that's why the better condition coins can sell for more. But um, yeah, even coins that are low mintage coin, um, even if they're not in great condition, they can still sell for a little bit depending on how rare they are. Year 2000, yeah, this year 2000 coin right here, it's a low mintage at 5.7 million. So five to $32 on these coins this particular year. Um, pretty, pretty worn this coin here. It's got a bit of that double rim effect around the outside of the coin there. And it goes a fair way around too from about here all the way around to about there. So that's about halfway. So that, that might sort of add a bit of value there, that double rim type effect, so that's cool. Who's the dude on the back of the coin? Um, oh, geez, I, don't, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, yeah, but uh, I should look that up. Yeah, but I don't know off the top of my head, unfortunately. Yeah, New Aboriginal elder. Kylie, thank you for the roses, appreciate that. Okay, onto a new bag. I have a $2 coin, which seems to have a large IRB on the coin. Do you know it's worth? Um, I don't know what the large IRB is. I'd sort of have to check out the coin, maybe do a little video if you can and tag me in it and I can have a look at it. But um, yeah, I don't know without looking at it, Ebony, I wouldn't, couldn't really tell you. Yeah. 2010. Watching in my free period at school. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you might uh, pick up some tips from instead of spending some money in the canteen at school, you might uh, hold on to it because you make a bit more money off the, <laughs> the coin. Oh, here we go. Nice one. So this one here is a less we forget uh, $2 coin, um, colored coin. So 2017, I'll just check my list. Um, I've just got to make sure I get the right one because there's a few different colored coins for this particular year. And it says, less we forget. Oh, just try and get the right one. There's a Remembrance for Rosemary. That's not that one. So four to eight dollars, these ones. So 3.98 million of these minted. Yes, that's cool. Man, it's been a little while since I found one of those. So that's really good. I'm happy with that. I fall asleep to your TikToks. Or oh, they're all so relaxing. No worries, it's good. Okay, so I'll look. Um, Ebony, what have you said that? It looks similar to when you find a large SD, but the IRB on the $2 coin. Okay, cool. You have to check that out. Um, okay, go. Yeah. I'll try and pronounce his name. Jax, thanks for putting that there. But I, yeah, I can't pronounce that. Um, Waya Jungore. Gorai. Something like that. Robert, thanks for the uh, roses there. Appreciate that. Do you know how much a donation dollars are worth? Um, they would probably sell for a couple of dollars over face value for people who want them sent out to their address. So if you jumped on eBay, I'm sure if you search them up and filtered to sold items, you would find some selling between probably about $2 and $6 or something like that. Yeah. 
Best more coin man in the world. Thank you. Here I go. Crowds the full time. Thank you. Appreciate that, Stefan. It's kind. Oh, more roses there. Thank you, Ste uh, Robert. Appreciate it. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Good things. Uh, Dazza? Yeah, going well. Thanks. All right, 1988. Oh, this one's in fairly good condition for a 1988. So, yeah, I might put that aside. Even though 161 million of those this particular year's coins were minted. So... Um, but any coin in good condition, I appreciate those. So, what are you going through today? I'm going through two dollar coins today. These are all Australian two dollar coins, and I'm searching for coloured coins, but also low mintage coins. So coins that they didn't make as many of in that particular year, and they're worth more to coin collectors because there's not many of them around, and they're a bit harder to come by. So, it sort of drives the prices a little bit higher. And I've got lists that I refer to that I've put together myself. And um, anyone can grab those lists through the link in my bio if you're interested. There's a small charge, but um, you just got to find one or two coins and it pays the lists and and anything else is a bonus. So, hey bud, love your lives, man. What's your best find today? Um, so far, maybe this one here. Maybe this one here, the less we forget 2017 colored coin right there. So, yeah, really happy with that find right there. Love all your vids, so calming. I always look at some before I sleep. There, <laughs> good idea. I think a number of people say that. I've got a YouTube channel too, and I've probably got some longer videos in there. So, um, yeah, on the YouTube channel, if you're looking for a bit more longer lead time before you can get yourself off to sleep, <laughs> then maybe check them out there. I usually upload these live replays that I do on TikTok here onto my YouTube channel, and. Um, but yeah, but I'm looking to do some more content over on YouTube as well, just like exclusive over there. G'day, g'day, Nick, how's it going? What's your YouTube? Yeah, it's coin collecting and detecting. But if you go through my TikTok bio, at the top, there's a little play button that you click on that play button, it goes through to my YouTube channel. So it just links up directly with that. So yeah, it's definitely worth checking that out. This one here, it's a 2019, and it's got the necklace on the coin, so that means it's a JC design. You can see on her shoulder just down there glinting, JC. It stands for Jody Clark. These ones are lower mintage. I'll just check the figures on my list. So two million, only two million of these. So four to eight dollars each of these particular two dollar coins, the Aboriginal elder coins. So because they're a lower mintage. All right, into another bag. What's the best denomination to check for errors? Oh, geez, that's a good question. Maybe $1 coins, because there can be lots of little blobs of metal. Um, then you've got 50 cent coins. There, there can be pretty rare 50 cent coins that um, have got queen's heads on both sides, like they're accidental. It's like a queen's head on this side, and you flip it over, it's got another queen's head on that side. And up to $6,000 some of those have sold for. So um, there's a few different years on the 50 cent coins. I think there's about five years, four or five years that um, you can get that on. And yeah, into the thousands of dollars, those ones. So it depends on the denomination. If you're if you're looking for more of the more common errors, the $1 coins will come across those a bit more regularly um, just for little errors. And they don't, but they're not as valuable much, uh, probably between about five and $15, those ones, if you find those. This one here, 2021, $2 coin. Just grab my list here. Um, yeah, $3.50 to $6, those ones right there. Ah, I appreciate the donut there. Hey, mate, just recently got a few uncirculated rolls of ambulance, $2. What do you reckon it's worth is? I don't, yeah, I don't know off the top of my head. What I'd probably suggest is just jumping on eBay and searching those up and then filtering to sold items to see what they've been selling for recently. Yeah, but I, I don't know, unfortunately, off the top of my head. All right, this is one of those Olympic colored coins from 2020, striving down the bottom there. So let's have a look at the prices on those. The Olympic coins, between about four and $11, depending on condition. This is missing a bit of paint. You can see some of the paints chipped off around here. So um, not as good a quality as um, some of them out there, but um, yeah, so it'd be the lower end of that price range, but 2 million of those. Each of those designs were minted. I think there was six different designs on those Olympic coins. I ah, appreciate the roses there, Blake. Thank you. Are the 1988 HH valuable? No, they're not. No, no. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Roughly how much do you think you've made from finding coins over the years? 
I it's a I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm sorry. I yeah, I'd just be randomly guessing really. Uh, because I collect coins and I also sell some coins. I've got a ton of coins sitting here on my bench that I've been waiting to sort of list on eBay, but busy doing other things and um, actually got a little notification on my phone there saying something's happened with eBay and that maybe someone's bought a coin or something like that. So to check that out after this live. Um, yeah, how much are the gold poppy coins? Uh, between five and thirty-five dollars. I found one just before, actually, just before I started this live. There was one in one of the bags, so I did a little video on it, and I'll post that video up at some stage in the next couple of days. But yeah, this coin here I found. So five to thirty-five dollars for these gold poppy two thousand and twelve coins. Oh, appreciate the target there. Thanks, Remus. How much are we going through? Um. Oh, it's about three or four hundred dollars for any. It's not a huge search today, but um, yeah, maybe close to five hundred dollars. Uh, someone said because they're worth hundreds. Oh, the red poppies are worth. If you, that's what you're referring to, the red poppy coins, they're worth hundreds of dollars. Yeah, um, but that's a gold poppy. The gold poppies they minted five. I think it was five point eight million. I'll just quickly check my list of the gold poppies. Five point eight million of these, but the red poppies that's got red paint on that middle section they only minted five hundred thousand. So, one hundred and ninety-two dollars to three hundred and twenty-two dollars for a, a red poppy that's got the red paint on it. So a lot rarer. Coinsmith, hi buddy, g'day. How are you going? Do you know much about the one cents at all, please? Yeah, I do. Um, I've got a little, I've got a little package, a little um, prices and stats thing to do with one and two cent coins through the link in my bio. So it's got a bit more information in there um, about one and two cent coins. And if you've got plenty of what things to look for and the prices you can sort of achieve by selling them in different ways. Um, yeah, so if you've got a fair few one and two cent coins, then it, it's probably worth picking that up, information pack up, yeah. Is the Aussie Post collectible coins worth much? Um, I don't know the prices off the top of my head. Um, yeah, on those, yeah. But generally speaking, like the individual coins, because people try to find them just in the public and uh, try and make sets up themselves. So they can sell, oh, I don't know, anywhere from about $2 to $6, depending on the condition of the coin, yeah. Found a 1998 Bicentennial Wonderla in fair condition. Cool. Where do you go and buy your rolls? Is there a certain place that provides rarer coins? Uh, not necessarily, no. Yes, I just get my coins from the bank and I mix up the banks. So I go to different banks at different um, different times. Um, some banks have coin rolls and some banks have their coins in bags like these ones down the back here. Um, so it just depends on the branch if they've got them in coin rolls or bags. But um, yeah, I have a coin collection I'm wanting to sell, but I have no idea how. What I'd suggest with that, Cal, um, is to contact Downey's Collectibles and they have auctions. And what they can do is if you've got a collection, they can, they can get your collection, they can go through every coin and value it, grade every coin, and then they list them in the auctions. And the auctions, they have four auctions each year and they have a catalog for the auctions and you need to have your collection in so two months before the auction um, so they can get everything organized in the brochures and they've got collectors worldwide, Australia and worldwide who tune in to buy things. Um, yeah, and that's probably a good way of going about it, especially if you've got a full collection and you're not too sure on the values and stuff like that. So I'd sort of suggest Downey's Collectibles, yeah, sort of probably give them a call, yep. Australian Post bring a new alphabet set. Yeah, that's right. The 2022 Great Aussie Coin Hunt's out. So that's cool. 2020. I'll just see if the 2020. Um, no, that's a bit of high vintage. All right. So I've only got pretty much two bags to go here. Let's have a look. Let's see if we've got any luck with these red bags. I did tend to find a few more things, I think, in these red bags than I do in those those other ones in the coins that I've got, yeah, that I picked up recently. So let's see if we're a bit more lucky right here. Look, I found a few things today, so I've been pretty happy with that. I 
I just found a new colored $1 coin. Do you know what it's worth? Oh, it depends what it is. You'd have to tell me what it is. Can I have the ones you don't keep for my collection? <laughs> no, they go straight back to the bank and through the coin deposit machine so I can get some more coins out and try and find some good stuff. Where is a good place to look for information on one cents? Yeah, I've got it through the link in my bio. So um, uh, if you go to my TikTok bio, below the Australian flag, there's a little link. Click on that link. It goes to my link tree. And then one of the tabs on my link tree is a little thing I put together called one cent and two cent prices and stats. So you can either grab that. Um, another good resource is just jumping on the Royal Australian Mint website and they've got mintage figures for each of the years that they made one and two cent coins. So you can get a bit of some of the figures um, about how many they made for each year. But yeah, if you're sort of after a bit more of the prices and how you can sort of sort of sell them and things like that, then um, you're probably grabbing my little guy through that link in the bio. All right, 2021 again, another one of those fairly recent one. I do find a fair few of those. So I'm from Canada, but do you know any advice in starting coin collecting, what to do? Um, it's a good question. I don't really know the system over in Canada, but what I'd suggest, sorry, I'll stop making noise. What I'd suggest is probably going to the Royal, the Royal Canadian Mint website and they should have sections that tell you the mintage figures for the coins for each of the years. And mintage figures meaning how many they made each year. And if they've got, if there's a year that's got a really low mintage figure and they didn't make many that year, those ones will be worth a little bit more. So probably, probably go through the mintage figures on your, your Royal Canadian Mint website and find the low mintage years and then write them down and then start researching the prices, maybe jumping on a place like eBay and searching up those particular years coins and then filtering to sold items to see what people are willing to pay for those coins. So that's probably a good way to sort of start um, to get a feel for it. There might be lists. There might be lists that you can sort of try and track down of particular years to search for that people have put together. Um, but if you're just sort of starting from scratch and you just want to research it yourself, then that's probably what I'd suggest. Look, I keep the Royal Australian Mint um, mintage figures. I keep a tab open on my phone the whole time, so I can always just flick across and quickly check the mintage numbers for any given year uh, whenever I want to. So anyone can do that for sure. How much do the Aussie coin hunt coins go for? Oh, it depends on which which coin it is, what how, the condition of the coin. Um, so anywhere between probably about $2 and $6, I'd sort of say. Yeah. Have you found any 2022 coins? No, not yet, no. I appreciate the hand clapping. Thank you, I appreciate the gift there. All right, this is sort of onto my last roll here, or not roll, but little bag. Let's see if I've, it's a bit of a, a brighter one there. Let's see if we've got anything good here. It's probably a 2021. Yeah, 2021. So what are the prices on these? $3.50 to $6 are some recent selling prices on those. I'm looking forward to getting some 2022 current coins. It'll be a good year for collecting. Cool. I found a 2022 20 cent piece. Is that good? Um, could be. I don't. I don't know how many they're going to produce this year. Um, so yeah, it could be interesting. And especially if it's sort of new out. <coughs> if you've got a with those 2022 coins, coin collectors generally like to have a coin from each year. So everyone who's got collections up to this point they've got up to 2021, they'll need a 2022 coin. So they might be looking to buy coins right at the moment to get their 2022 coins into their set. So um, if you're listing things at the moment, you might do a little bit better with the latest coins if you can get a hold of them. All right, Spectrum, g'day, how's it going? I'm just sort of finishing up. <laughs> um, but uh, I'll show you some of the things that I've put aside here. Um, let's drag them across. So I found a few of these things here. So a couple of colored coins here. Um, the women's T20, you got a gold poppy up there. Uh, lest we forget 2017 coin, that one right there. Um, Olympic um, coin there. There's six different designs at Olympics. So, um, and then a year 2000 coin. So this is a lower mintage um, $2 coin. 
and I've just checked the price it's between five and thirty two dollars on these particular coins and it's got a bit of a double rim just a slightly double rim that goes a fair way around although it's not not really clean it's sort of got comes in and out a little bit so um, yeah that's pretty cool anyway um, and a number of the 2021 coins and but also a 2019 JC so um, what are we looking at the 2019 JC's Here's my list. Here we go. Four to eight dollars for these ones here. So just a standard issue Aboriginal elder two dollar coin, but they can sell for a little bit more, just because they're a little bit of a lower mintage um, that particular year. Two million, only two million of these coins minted. Um, cool. All right, then. Well, um, oh, what would be my find of the day? What well, find of the day? Really appreciated finding this one. Actually, this is really good, and it's in not too bad a condition as well. Pretty shiny and. Um, yeah, it's been a little while since I've found one of those, so um, that's really cool. I like it. Cool. Okay, then. Well, thanks everyone for jumping on. Um, not a not a huge search, but um, I'll be back on for another search tomorrow and um, get some more videos out as well, so you can check those out. Um, but yeah, you can sort of jump across and maybe check out my YouTube channel if you want a bit of longer form content. Some people were sort of mentioning that a bit earlier on. Um, and through my TikTok bar, there's a little play button which links up to my YouTube channel. So you click on that little play button. And that goes across if you're interested. Cool. All right, then we'll hope everyone has a great day and uh, we'll catch you all again soon. All right, see ya.